Hey guys, today we are going to look at a guy who posted a video in 2009 of his Force of Will collection, which has gone down significantly in price, uh, not as much as the next card we'll talk about, Wasteland, but this is why Magic is not the investment, it's not, I know people are saying, oh, we're going to buy dual lands, and we're going to invest in those, we're going to buy Lion's Eye Diamonds, we're going to invest in those, yes, maybe but the thing about magic is it changes so fast and from a financial standpoint something like a wasteland which has for years been a staple it has been you know one of the hardest to trade cards uh, the tcg mids on this as we're going to soon see are over a hundred dollars now they've dropped to 60 they've gone down you know 50 percent in price over the eternal masters announcement and this is true for everything. People will say dual lands, power nine, all of that is special because it's on a reserve list. What if the Magic players conceptually decided that, hey, we'll make a format, we'll call it Eternal, and we will play with every single card minus the cards on the reserve list. So they've created their own new format that does not involve the dual lands. Now that would be intriguing to me. It's, I don't know, Wizard of the Coast is not going to support it, but if the players are playing it, just like EDH, I don't see why eventually that when you have enough support from a player base, you can't make like a precon deck or something like that, a commander deck, if you will. So Wasteland, as you can see from the high, it was, you know, so high. Um, 116 was the lowest you could get a Wasteland for. Now you can get it for $35. Now, Wasteland is going to take, is absolutely savage what hap is going to happen to Wasteland's price once Eternal Masters actually releases, because it's a rare. Force of Will, on the other hand, as we're going to enjoy this video one more time, is a mythic. So its price won't go down as much, but it should go down, and it will be easier to trade for. So there will be a greater supply of these out there, and that's fantastic. That's what Wizards of the Coast should be doing all the time with all the cards. Tomogoy, Bob, and Dylan Click. I'm looking at you. You've been reprinted, but I say, hey, reprint, reprint some more.